I can't believe I had to kill her. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college funds? Oh, it's the fact that I can't move. You can't hide from me forever. Max. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow the it. picture. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh. My. Everything. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Always. Man. Oh, no. No, I don't want you to change bag. Uh, it's changed back. It's changing back. The original timeline is coming back. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. No matter how much this timeline low key sucks, it's it's fine. I can't believe I just had to kill her. Man. That just made me sad. My eyes actually watered too. I was about to start crying, and I'm not kidding. What on earth? How do we even get a picture of that moment? I don't remember us taking a picture of that. Oh, we're helping Chloe with something right there. Are we back? Please tell me we're back. Please tell me blue-haired Chloe is back. Come on. Come on, somebody turn the turn, turn. Oh, this is outside. This is that little thing outside that we saw. Who's this? Wait a second. Is that the board? In that last picture, is this the board that we were bringing upstairs? Chloe, you're alive. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? Goddamn. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. <laughs> now, are we able to tell Chloe Max, what the hell just happened? Us? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the <clears throat> real world, Max. Thank everything. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. No. No, that would be entirely too much. And to think, like, the world where she, the timeline where she actually has her dad is the timeline where she ends up, oop, fingers popping, is the timeline where she ends up completely paralyzed and confined to a wheelchair until she until we kill her uh, you know what no get up just get up i'm tired of this max how are you just gonna go right back to i would have broke down i would have broke down right there in front of chloe after that hug 
Man, that was the saddest thing I've ever had to watch this week. Ugh. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. <clears throat> we have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. You know what? Fine. Loves your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Man, and I'm, I'm still mad! Some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy Step camper crack. after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Man, it's literally the fact that I, I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I want to look at stuff in this room, but it's literally the fact that I could have let her take that Damn. money. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Hmm. And. Pan Estates, Environmental Changes, Widespread Destruction. Damn. Well, that's not cool at all, is it? No, but, um, it's the fact that I should have let her take that money. Take, take a picture with this woman. This bitch died. Take a picture of this woman right now. Man, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad she didn't let me see what it looked like, but I'm a low. Oh! I'm sorry. Why did I think someone was sitting here or like crouched here just I'm now? Lost in all this shit. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go figure this out. It's the fact that I should have let her take that money, though. It really is the fact that I should have let her take that money, and it makes me so angry that I didn't. This is the bathroom. So isn't this... no? Huh? Since David might be in there, I better mosey ah. along for a change. Man! I can't believe in the alternate reality. Are you freaking kidding me? This principle ain't good for any... thing. Why do you look unrendered? Oh. There it goes, slightly. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Damn. Those poor whales, whales? are like beached angels. What is going on here? Warren. What the what the? Uh, what? Warren, what? What, what, what? Okay, so that was yesterday. Yeah, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still have to go to get... At least I still get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. One pain in the ass is enough. Juliet? Juliet? 
Juliet. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Marsh. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, this is making me so sad. <laughs> Damn. Uh. What in the hell is happening? Wow, that was useless. So, okay, okay. So, I threw your beanie out the window and then busted out my rewind. That is, <laughs> that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. <laughs> Oh, she actually... <laughs> okay, okay. Man, this sucks. The whales are still beached, so I don't know what Ouch. the hell's happening with that. Hmm. Not the swear jar. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Man, uh, this is just ma still mad at the fact that I didn't. Ugh. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. I swear, this tornado better be easy as hell to fix. Otherwise, what did I even come downstairs for? I don't even remember. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Mm -mm. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Hmm. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Hmm. Man, this sucks. Surveillance so cameras bad. at Pan Estates? <laughs> David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Ew. Man, if he was helping those assholes spy on me. There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Well, he's not going to. I mean, you did hit the bitch. Not, not Joyce, Chloe. <laughs> you, you did, you really did. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you messed up and you messed up good. And now you're gone. What are we even looking for? Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. 
Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Hmm. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I feel like, I feel like they- I wonder if David is going to the party. I feel like somebody they freaking like they either snitched on me or something happened or they're given or he was giving them information oh. about me oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest i i better move his plank if i want to take the shot move excuse me just one picture please Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, Sleep. thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy way. Thought so. Um. Because it worried me for a second. I was like, why is the butter why are the butterflies popping up if, me, if I'm moving that off the way? Hey David, what you hiding? For I'm not even gonna try. I have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, what you call it? crowbar to pry open the locker. Okay. I really hope like that plank doesn't eventually come down and smash the birds or something. Cause I was worried like if I sit this here and the door opens, it's gonna smack somebody in the head or something. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. What you hiding? Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She, like, he thinks she knows something, but what could she possibly know? Oh my god. I still gotta get him for that. I still gotta get Nathan for that. He really put his hands on Warren. He really put his hands on Bay. I'm mad. I'm so mad. And it makes me even madder because I keep thinking every time I come back to play this game, it's like, who do I want Max to be with more? Warren or Chloe? And I know at some point I'm going to have to probably do some stuff to make that happen. But man, I just... Man! God dang it. This is Score. a whole load of malarkey. Chloe now. Man, this man really has it. Just, 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 I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Period. You know what? Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll come back, right? Maybe he'll come back for some stuff that he left. And now since that plank doesn't look like it was moved, he'll just think that he did it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's Miss Grant. 
The damn totem pole. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, <laughs> are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's <sighs> too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total. Loser, I was about to say we have so many photos. Just focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend, and I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, <laughs> I don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Chloe, if you don't quit, if you don't stop. You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Alright then, I guess we'll talk to the other folks. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Swoop. Where's that one girl? I always have to like... Is it 420 Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Hey Daniel, you look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. Uh -huh. I'm a wannabe artist. Don't give up. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Uh, d damn, 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 okay. Oh. That's honestly not what I meant to, hey, but, Daniel. okay. Hola, Let me Max. just see what this other option is. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense. But not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. So either option is... So oh, either nice. option is just not good enough Sorry, for you. I'm still bumming. I'll talk to you later when I'm not so pathetic. So every option is just not good enough for you, really? Fine, well then what do you have to say now? Hey, Daniel. Hola. Good. Seriously? Daniel, your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen? Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Okay. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> but, oh, I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. Yet. I like hmm. this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. 
People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Uh, I feel like you should go. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Okay. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I just ran into that guy. Okay, so Daniel's going. Daniel's going. So... Oh, man. <gasps> My sweet Kate. Someone even gave her a teddy bear. Gosh dang it. Man. I keep raining this. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Hi, Miss mm. Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> and I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Mm. I feel like that's shade, Miss Grant, but okay. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Hmm. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. Hmm. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. True. Principal so Wells. Why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, yeah. I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Mm. Recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. <laughs> I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Hmm. Maybe it's beyond I science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Hmm. The dying animals. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Time what travel. about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. <laughs> time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Mm. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hmm. Hell not. No. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. 
You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you you might be the wisest. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist... Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to... How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, mm. it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Mm. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide, so... Next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm Thank glad you. to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Hmm. Oh, look at that. I feel like it's about to bite us on the ankle. You're scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Mar. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? These days. Can I like How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? I can't like Oh. Well yeah, maybe I can bring him over here. Get that food in your belly. Go ahead. Huh? Wait, so... Oh, I see... Oh, okay, okay. Picture! Say... Eaten. I thought something was going to happen if I stepped on that. Oh, it's Brooke! Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? <sighs> I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. Uh. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. First off, he's an ass. Secondly, Warren is mine. My Thirdly, around that why are you being mad? Beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Can I just, like, choke you out? Right quick. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. 
I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. How's she gonna... How's she gonna start talking mess right after she stops talking to me? And secondly, how's she gonna be mad if... Okay. Picture of some rocks. Mm -hmm. For posterity. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the totem pole in the back too. Hopefully. Man, the fact that he's not here makes me angry. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Fly away! I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Coast is clear. What the? F it would be so cool if you we were going to school what? together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Oh, you look at look next to Chloe. What did I? What is that? Don't pay it up to the roof. Oh. Okay. All right. Don't just pan up looking at the roof. I. That's not what it's I needed so to see don't just have then. Dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Just, now, did she just say Batmax? I wasn't I wasn't looking at I wasn't looking. I was looking out my window. Did she just say Batmax? Batmax. The Vortex Club sucks. Oh, the Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, it. love Evan. What? Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <sighs> Evan rolls. I don't even remember who Evan is. That's a sad bit. What the hell am I hearing? Hello? I'm sorry, guys, are you hearing that? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Hmm. Free gl- Bitch! Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Whose room even is this? Ugh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Bitch, why are they picking on Daniel now? Even who's... after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Uh, who's picking on Daniel now? Who the hell just decided, who the hell just sat there and was like, you know what, we all just saw Kate die and jump off the roof because she got bullied. Now we're going to go up to Daniel. Zach or Logan. Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Man. Ugh. Skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Yep, should be in there. This can only be Nathan's room. Yep. And Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. What in the everything? Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Girl, why you gotta be a pacifist? Why you gotta be a pacifist? We can just, we can get him. Hello, we can get Warren. him one good time. Hawking and him make a good team. Nathan, Nathan, I'm walking right past Nathan's room. Let me up in this bitch. Knock, knock. Oh. Well, it's locked. Oh, well. Huh?
What are you projecting? What are you watching? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce? Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal clap like cl cl clap crap like breaking in a black wall. I'm so sorry. How did she know? How did she know? No one saw us. That doesn't make any type of sense to me. you know who told you yes I would there aren't be even cool any cam there literally project. aren't even any cameras in blackwell so how did she know that doesn't make any sense to me there that literally like aren't any cameras because we didn't show. end up signing that petition because i completely even forgot about it light side. my phone is ringing so like what It just doesn't make any sense to me. Whale songs? How I ironic. This is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Turn that, turn that off. Turn that off. Look in here. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did. You're going to pay, motherfucker. Chloe. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Wait, open that back again? I thought that something is, was in oh there. Oh my god. Chloe. What in the actual? What happened to her in this picture? Okay, so. She. No, we're not even. Gonna get in, we're not even gonna get into that. We're not even gonna get into. Whatever the hell was happening in that picture, we're not Damn, even gonna get into it. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but. The guy has his own style. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Important. Are you kidding me? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. What the fuck? I want to use that computer, but I'm still trying to look for his phone. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. This man's got alcohol and pills. What the fuck, bitch? That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Pastor. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but that's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Wow. The fact that he does have good moments. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Like, makes me mad. It's like, how are you going to be such into an this ass? Bad sign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. What the hell? Wait, what? I can't properly see or tell what's happening in this picture or this paused moment, but we're just going to sit here. Wait, this, all I know is that this must be the video everybody was talking about. I'm mad he still has this open on a tab for one. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Mm hmm. <laughs> 
Too bad Nathan wow. isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Uh, Schooltastic Life. Uh, co-workers, Peace Corps. Uh, full scholarship. Art schools. Campus. Lens. And the pictures. Halfway across the world. Uh, I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power and not wisdom. And the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. <laughs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. I... Be behind me if you want to. Oh. I don't know where this fucking asshole's phone is. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Who's been skid... What? Who's been skid tracking? Who's been skid marking, huh? Who's been... Move? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, I guess that's why. The couch. Did you take oh, your yes, phone? phone? You are mine now. Did this man take tape his phone to the back of the couch? Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Time to leave. Do it, do. Chloe! Here Damn, you go. Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh, hi. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. How? If you don't be cool already. I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Damn, Warren. You are so fucking dead! Stop it! Get Chloe! Off me, bro. Oh. All right, I got some chips. Now we are staying out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Get him, Warren! Oh, this motherfucker! Get him, Bay! Yes! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. Damn. That voice acting, though. Whoever, whoever Nathan's voice actor is is selling it. Intense, Warren. Uh, 
Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. Thank you. My bad. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. You are. Okay, bae! Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. Obviously. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. 